Hi kids, thanks so much for joining me today. Do you remember what we're talking about? If you said faith, you're absolutely right. We've spent a couple weeks talking about what faith is. Maybe now you've been asking yourself, how do I get faith? Let's watch this video and find out what happens when a dad needs a little more faith. Dad, thanks so much for teaching me to drive today. Well, uh, son, you did a good job passing your written exam, and now you have your permit to drive. Can't wait to so, go high-speed um, chase and just go cruise. High-speed what? <sighs> What's wrong, Dad? <sighs> nothing. N nothing. Just <laughs> nothing. I'll be, I'll be fine. Um, will you uh, pop the trunk for a second? Sure. <laughs> Therefore, we will not fear, though, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though it's warm Hi, Mom. <laughs> no, we're still in the driveway. Yeah, I was driving the engine. Well, I'm just messing with Dad. I'll drive safely. I love you, too. Bye. Everything all right? <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. All right, now, son, now remember, you have the knowledge of how to drive now by reading the handbook and uh, taking the, uh, the exam. I read Writing the exam. Twice. Only twice? <sighs> uh, all right, never mind. <laughs> it's cool. All right. <clears throat> you know, with practice, it'll get safer and much easier to ride and drive all the time. Thanks, Dad. I mean, yeah. I have faith. Well, cool. Of course I do. Uh, you'll do fine. I, um, well, I just think we should, let's pray before the car moves, even an inch. You know, so in that case, maybe I should have, I mean, can, can I just hold it? Give me the keys for a minute. All right, let's bow our heads. Lord Jesus, I, I pray that you'll give us a, a safe lesson. Amen. Hello? <sighs> Mom said she just read a verse that says, whoever obeys the commands of God will not come to harm. And she also said that the wise heart will know the proper time and procedure. And then she also said that you should get it in your heart and stop thinking about it so much. Buckle up, you know what to do. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> you know, son, I believe in my heart that God will stand by his word. So in that case, let's blow this popsicle stand, huh? <laughs> All right, now, son, you know there's a better chance I'll let you drive again in the future if you drive like your grandma. All right? I meant drive slowly. Oh, okay. Let's read what the Word of God has to say about getting more faith. We're going to look in Romans 10, 17. It says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So the more we hear God's Word, the more faith we receive. Here's an interesting question. Let's see if you know the answer. Does everyone have some faith or are there people with no faith at all? What do you think? If you said everyone has a little bit of faith, then you've probably already started hearing the word of God because God's word says that he has given us faith 
and all we have to have is faith like a mustard seed. A mustard seed is one of the tiniest seeds, so it might just be a little bit of faith, but we can do a lot with that faith. What if we're in a situation kind of like our dad in the video where we realize we maybe need a little more faith? Well, that's where our scripture today comes in. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if this balloon is my faith and I have faith like a mustard seed, I've got that little, that measure of faith that the Bible talks about that God gave us. So here's my measure of faith. If I have this measure of faith, but I decide this is just not quite enough faith to be able to cut it for what I'm believing for, how do I get more? Do you remember what God's word said? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So let me ask you this question. How do we hear God's word? Is it listening to our teacher in school? No. Is it playing our video games and God will speak to us through our favorite character? Probably not. But one of the ways that you hear the word of God is by coming here to church on Sunday. Maybe you're watching online, you're still having church right there in your living room as you watch this video. You see, when I read the Word of God, you're hearing it, and that helps to build your faith. So let's blow up our faith a little bit. What's another way we can build our faith? How else do we hear the Word of God? Is it only in church on a Sunday morning? And if it wasn't for that, we would never build our faith? Of course not. We also can build our faith by reading the Word of God on our own. If you don't read yet, this might be your mom or dad reading you a scripture or a story out of the Bible. And if you are a reader, it's beginning to have a kid's Bible or a youth Bible to begin reading on your own. That's another way we can build our faith. What else? Is there more ways? Of course there's more ways. Sometimes we sing songs in church or we hear them on our Christian radio station that speak the word of God. That's another way to build our faith. Maybe you're in a situation where you remember a scripture that Pastor Amber told on Sunday and you say it to yourself. When you speak God's word, you're also hearing it with your ears. So you can see that the more I'm listening to God, the more I'm hearing his word, the more it helps to build my faith, the bigger it's getting. So if I want to have really great faith, I want to fill myself up or I want to listen to as much of God's word as possible. You see, how much faith we have does not depend upon God. It depends upon us. Listen to this verse and tell me what you think it means. James 1, 19 says, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak and slow to anger. What do you think that that is telling us? We should be slow to speak, but swift to... That's right, swift to hear. If you watched our sermon from last week or you were a part of the um, adult group in last Sunday, you maybe met Bob. Ironically, this was the exact lesson plan that Bob was originally created for. When we're sitting in church and you're sitting next to your parents and the pastor is preaching or maybe even when we were downstairs for kids ministry, you maybe found somebody telling you, shh. Listen, pay attention. Why do you think they were saying that? Do you think it was because they didn't want you to distract all of the people around you? Well, probably. Do they think it was because they didn't want you and your brother or sister to be picking on each other and fighting with each other? Definitely. But all of those reasons equal to one thing, and that is to this right here, to having ears to hear. The Bible itself tells us we should be slow to speak, but quick to hear. We want to make sure that we have ears to hear the word of God. 
So the next time that you're in a church service and somebody tells you, shh, be quiet, listen, pay attention, they're actually speaking God's word to you. They want you to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, close your mouth and put on your listening ears. That's how we grow our faith. There's a story in Acts 10 that kind of accentuates this point. It's about a man named Cornelius. Cornelius was a good man. He was kind. He gave money away to people who needed it. Everyone loved Cornelius. But Cornelius did not know about Jesus. He didn't know to follow God's ways or that he should follow Jesus, try and act like him, become a disciple of him, and ask Jesus into his heart. He didn't know any of these things. Even though he was a good man, he still needed to hear the word of God. So one day, an angel showed up in front of Cornelius. Wouldn't that be so amazing to have an angel show up in front of you? I bet if an angel showed up at your school or your house, you would probably stop talking and listen pretty closely. That's what Cornelius did. He listened to what God's angel had to say. He told him to go and find a man named Peter. When Cornelius got to Peter, Peter told him all about Jesus and about God and his word. Cornelius invited Jesus into his heart and into his life. He told his family all about it, and he went forward and lived for God. If he had never heard about God or heard God's word, he never would have had the faith to be able to believe and trust in God. Even though Cornelius was a good man, do you remember that from the beginning? He wasn't a bad and evil person that needed to hear Jesus. He was a good man, but he still needed to hear about Jesus to be able to grow and find his faith. This next week, I hope you find areas where you can grow your faith. Continue to listen to God's word, both in our videos, replaying them online. You can go to wordoffaithchurch.com to find them or listening to music that has scripture verses, or just continuing to come to church with your parents on a Sunday morning. We have a coloring page, if you're here in the building with us, at our booth that are ears. You get to color them and you can take them home and cut them out or put them on your fridge, maybe tape them to your head. And they're gonna help you to remember to listen to God's word so that you can grow your faith. I can't wait to see you here next week.